and welcome back to Alyssa on the Surface. Thank you for joining today. Uh, we are starting in a little bit different of an area. We are at the beautiful porcelain wall at the back side of the Ann Sachs showroom. Uh, so we're gonna give everybody a few minutes to get started um, or get logged on and check everything out. But in the meantime, I'll just go over a few ANSACS um, housekeeping reminders. Uh, we are going to have our August launch arriving on Thursday, and we will be going to Instagram Live on the ANSACS main page uh, and breaking down our new assortment. So please check that out. I'll be in touch with you guys with an e-blast uh, to let you know the exact time. Uh, so that is upcoming, and then hopefully I'll be doing a presentation myself here. So stay tuned on Alyssa on the Surface. And then we have our VIP sale, which is ending tomorrow. So we've got some really beautiful Amsacs, Callista, and Roeburn options available here um, at really amazing prices. Sale ends tomorrow, so reach out to me immediately if you need anything from that sale, as it will be gone uh, after that. So, um, reach out to me for any last minute buys, and uh, we will get started in just a minute here. Um, I'm standing in front of our Popham color collection, so we'll dive into that first. So, if you aren't sure of the subject of the presentation quite yet, we are going to be going through Pop Popham which um, we sell at Ann Sachs under the name of Pacha, as if we have uh, some in-stock options that are titled under Pacha. So I'll go through those in a few minutes, but we have this beautiful display board, display board of all of our colors. It's very heavy, or else I would say, um, I'd lift it to show you, um, but we have over a hundred different colors available for the Popham collection. Um, it's a really beautiful, colorful collection. Um, these are on display here for any meetings that you guys need to have with your clients, uh, but this board is not available to be lent out. So it's very heavy, um, but the swatches themselves uh, can be sourced. So just let us know what you need. Um, but some really beautiful neutrals, grays, and greens. Um, so this is just a taste of what we're going to go check, up, check out up at the front. Um, so we'll walk that way, and I'll kind of give you a little bit of a tour as we're walking along. Um, if you haven't come by the showroom, in 2019 and 2020, we did do a few updates and updated some vignettes, uh, as well as some collections. So we'll give you a little tour while we're walking along. This is our Made by Ann Sachs collection here in the corner. And then up in front we've got some featured looks. And then finally, welcome to the colorful corner of Papa. So this is just going to be a quick collection close-up of Popham Design, which is a handmade Moroccan concrete tile. Uh, so we have this beautiful uh, collection available here. It's beautiful and colorful, um, and we'll get started. We'll break it down. Um, so we have both in-stock as well as non-stock assortments for Popham. So the in-stock assortment is called Pacha that we offer. Um, and so Popham Design really celebrates traditional and local craftsmanship of Morocco. Uh, these artisans employ age-old techniques that have been studied in Morocco uh, for many years, and they are all handmade by skilled artisans uh, in Marrakesh, uh, so they are used for both indoor and outdoor applications and are meant to truly be lived in. Um, so, Something to keep in mind for any popham or any concrete tile, it's, it's meant to look worn in and it's meant to feel lived in. So if you're looking for something that will stay perfect forever, this may not be the tile for you. Uh, but if you're looking for something that will have character over time, 
this is definitely it. Um, so we have stocked options that are max out at about $34 a square foot. And if it is in stock, it's going to be about a seven to 10 uh, day lead time shipping from our LA warehouse. And um, so let me just point out a few of our in stock designs that we offer. So we have the hex artichoke. This is the elongated hex size. And then we have the hex star. This is the small star version in the beautiful indigo and milk color combination. This is definitely one of our most popular. And then a different size, uh, just a fun different size that we have is called soar. This is another in stock option. And then we have Brasilia as well. This is another very popular option for us. I've got two different formats featured here. Um, and this collection ex itself features five formats that are really meant to combine together and create a pattern on the wall, um, which is the beautiful thing about Popham is that each individual piece is meant to build up and build together to create a, create a beautiful pattern. Um, so that's in stock. So the difference between in stock and custom is lead time. Uh, you're looking at about seven to 10 days and then switching to about 14 to 16 weeks. So please set that precedent with your client. Um, it is something that takes time to wait for, but again, you're waiting on artwork to come from Marrakesh and it really is going to be worth the wait and investment. Um, so I brought out a few of our color pieces here. So we've got the beautiful Clementine color. All of your samples will be lab labeled on the edge like you see here. Um, but for example, say you wanted to do this elongated hex, uh, the hex artichoke, but you want this clementine color instead of the yellow. This would immediately convert your order to a custom order and immediately transfer your seven to 10 week lead time here to a 14 to 16 week lead time. So please keep that in mind as well. Another, another thing to keep in mind with Popham is that you have a five box minimum. So each format requires that you buy at least one box. Um, and I can break down all of those quantities for you based off of which format you're interested in. Um, but please keep that in mind. There are a few parameters that Popham um, custom has to stick with. And so finally, um, now that I've shown you all of our beautiful patterns, I'm gonna show you some solids. Now, we don't have all of the patterns available on display, but we do have all of the sizes that you see here on display. So if you ever need a size for reference, we have these here available at the showroom. Um, if you need these on hand, it would have to be lent out. Uh, these aren't available uh, for free or for, uh, for purchase, they are here as a resource at our showroom uh, for your client meetings. All right, so I have one more thing to review with you guys, and that is the care and keeping of Popham. So I partnered with our customer service team this morning to get five bullet points down for you. Um, these are some common questions that were asked. These are some common maintenance issues that we come across. So just to kind of uh, set a precedent for you as well as for your client, uh, these are some expectations. All right, so first up, always clean the tile before install, preferably using a non-scratch non Scotch-Brite pad. Um, sediment can build up in transit, um, making the appearance seem chalkier and more faded than it necessarily is. And it's probably the number one reason we get questions as soon as the tile arrives on site. So please review the material once it arrives. Um, that is one of the precedents that we do ask that you set. Um, number two, seal before and after grouting. Doing so beforehand helps act as a grout release, making the cleanup of the grout much easier for the installer. Um, number three, avoid dark pigments for the grout, like black, dark gray, etc. unless you understand the risks. These are all going to stay in the material, even if it is sealed, no questions asked. 
Some installers will try to use a pastry bag to pipe it um, and grout it into the line, but there will still uh, inevitably be some staining. So please keep that in mind. Avoid any dark, dark grout colors. And then as far as general maintenance, keep it simple. Uh, gentle soap and water or a pH neutral cleaner is all that you need. Um, so no bleach products, no chemicals, even if it says non-toxic, GMO, earth friendly, it's not suitable for pop-up. It's gentle soap and water. And finally, keep in mind that it is porous. It's a handmade product that relies on very old production methods. So while it can be used throughout the home, it is not intended or designed to look perfect. Uh, we're very wary of it, having this installed in bathrooms. We don't recommend it in a shower application because of the porousness of the material. Um, it will affect uh, the material over time. So these are just a few pointers of how to keep your pop safe and installed and ready to go and beautiful in your home. And I hope that this was very helpful. Um, so again, stay tuned. We have an upcoming launch and just we'll pan over just one more time all these pretty colors. And let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm always available via DM. Uh, you can reach out to me via email as well, and I can send you any info on the formats that you see here or formats that you see online. And while these may seem very graphic, uh, even by themselves, uh, we've got really amazing installs of how some of our designers and architects have utilized these materials. So feel free to reach out for those installs as well. All right, and that concludes our Pacha Popham presentation for Ann Sachs. My name is Alyssa. Thank you so much for tuning in to Alyssa on the Surface, and I'll see you soon for our new launch presentation uh, coming up. Thanks. Bye.